so Craig here again. Today we're going to be looking at chipping and pitching and just the basics we need to carry out both shots. So the difference between a chip and a pitch shot is a chip is kind of more low along the ground. It kind of fly a third of the way to the flag or whatever target you're hitting to. And um, a pitch shot would fly three quarters of the way, so it'll probably be a higher shot. You might have a bit of spin on it if you get the right connection. Okay, so first thing when we're hitting our chip shot is we want to have our weight so 70-30. So we want to have 70% 70, 70 of our weight on our left side and 30 on our right. So just for example, you can imagine having seven balls in your left pocket and three in your right. Okay. And so from there we're playing the chip shot in the middle of our stance. So with our weight on our left hand side, okay. And from there we're just going to imagine rocking our shoulders, okay. I'm using a seven iron here just so it's nice and low and penetrating and it goes, runs out towards the flag, okay. Don't forget when you're practicing these shots, have your arm and stick down as well because you want to take this to the course with you. Okay. So weight 70, 30. Okay. So now we're going to look at the chip shot. Okay. So I, I play these shots with Gerald maybe 50 my edge, 50, 60 degree or low edge, depending on how far I need to hit it or how high I need to hit it. If I need to go over a bunker or over water, that's why we play a uh, chip shot. Okay. So it can be a bit more of a danger shot to play because you're using a more lofty club. So it's important that when you have your weight 70, 30, like the pitch shot, that we're keeping nice and stable. So we're not moving and coming up and down and lifting our head. Okay. So you need to stay very stable through the ball. For this shot, we're going to try to make more of an angle of attack and hit down on the ball. Okay, because you really need to pinch the ball off the top of the ground in order to get 